What's the strangest thing that you've ever discovered? Well, from elusive, unusual creatures to plants that actually eat metal, I'm Bob from World 5 List. Here are 10 of the most mysterious discoveries from the Philippines. Number 10. Burial Urns in 2008, Philippine police confiscated 22 bags of pottery from smugglers operating near an area controlled by rebel groups, and within, they found artifacts from a long-forgotten tribe that had lived more than 2,000 years ago. These burial urns have images of emotional human faces, thought to depict people from a tribe that isn't one of the known indigenous tribes of the region. These tribes don't bury their dead in human form jars, and anthropomorphic pottery is rarely seen in this part of the world. It is evidence of a new people that used to live in the Philippines, or perhaps a long forgotten practice of those who are already known to have lived there. With the precise location of their origin being unknown because of the way they came into prominence, it could be a long time until anyone knows the answer. Number 9. A Rhino Fossil Scientists will tell you that the earliest known presence of Homo sapiens in Philippines was about 67,000 years ago, but a new discovery made in 2017 has proved that pre-modern humans were present on the islands as back as 709,000 years ago. In an archaeological dig in the Cagayan Valley, to the north of the Luzon Island, researchers found 57 tools and 400 bones in a clay-rich riverbed. These bones were animals such as brown deer, monitor lizards, turtles, and stegodons, but the most impressive perhaps was that of a rhinoceros that had clear signs of having been butchered. 13 of its bones, that scientists believe date back to 709,000 years, had cut marks, with two of them being struck in a way to release the bone marrow within. This method of preparation has only been done by the human species, and so is seen as clear evidence that they were present at the time. Not only is it amazing that these primitive humans were able to make their way to the island, but that they had already developed the means to hunt down rhinos. Some people regard early human species as being inferior to our own, but a find like this proves that they were much more capable than they're given credit for. Number 8. A Giant Ship Worm But first, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on the latest videos. And let me know what your favorite thing about the Philippines is in the comments below. The giant shipworm has, for a long time, been elusive. Its existence has been known for hundreds of years, but never had a living specimen been located, meaning that very little was known about how the creature lived. This would all change in 2017, when scientists announced that they had found a group of them buried in the marine sediments in southern Philippines. They belong to the same group as clams and mussels, and can grow up to 5 feet in length spending their lives buried head down in the seabed, encased within a hard shell. Now it's the longest known bivalve, and one that is thought to have once lived around the world, although it's not known now how many are actually left. Because of their novel way of feeding, they actually use a form of bacteria that breaks down the surrounding sediments into the nutrients that they need. Number 7. The Hinatuan River the Hinatuan River is located on the island of Mindanoa in the Philippines, and its beautifully clear blue waters flow along a palm tree lined stretch of beach between the Philippine Sea and the Pacific Ocean, leading to a unique cave system. Known locally as the Enchanted River, with water so clear you can see all the way to the bottom, in some places which reaches 80 feet. It's full of countless species of flowers, and the sun reflects the back off the shimmering fish as they swim through, further adding to the mystical feel. But deep within the lagoons, you can also see cave systems stretching off underneath the banks, and they only first began to be explored in 1999. Subsequent trips have now uncovered tunnels reaching at least 200 feet into the dark, which is thought to be just the beginning. 
The river's been part of local folklore for centuries, said to be kept in its glorious state by pixies and fairies and sprites who guard the waters. Visitors often claim to have seen these magical beings, as well as the mermaids who are believed to live in the caves, in experiences that further add to the allure of the location. Number 6. Limestone Coffins in 2011, archaeologists unearthed the remains of 1,000-year-old village in a thick jungle of mountaintop in the Philippines, where they then found something completely unexpected. Coffins manufactured from limestone, and unlike anything they'd ever seen before. The village, located near the summit of a large mountain, has a series of rectangular tombs that were carved into limestone outcrops, created using metal tools, and regarded as being important because they show that the local tribe, at the time, had practiced a more advanced death ritual than seen anywhere else in the country at the same time frame. Every other site that's ever been investigated instead used wooden coffins or even jars, and it's an incredible sight to see how the particular community lived. These tombs also have round holes in them, which could have been used to hold wooden poles, so houses could be built above them, meaning that it was likely the families lived on top of the remains of their relatives. Number 5. A Sea Monster Beachgoers near Masan City in Light Island were shocked in 2017 when they saw a large carcass wash up on the shore. The 32-foot-long creature was unrecognizable and unlike anything that the locals had ever seen before. They then began to notice the smell, which by all accounts was unbearable. Officials from the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources were stumped because of the level of decay and unable to find a suitable site to bury it. They also had no choice but to drag it back out to sea before it became a health hazard. Based on the images that were taken, most experts believe it was a species of whale, but it's hard to be sure. It almost looks as though the mound to the right of the images is its head, and if it is, it wouldn't be a type of whale that's been previously documented. Unfortunately, this mysterious creature will never be identified for certain, unless, of course, another one washes up on the beach, in which case there'll be a lot of people hoping to get a closer look than they were able to before. Number 4. A Stick Insect Species of stick insect can be found in various places around the world, but one discovered in the Philippines in 2012 was particularly mysterious. Referred to as the Conlophasma enigma, this species is wingless, living on the ground instead of trees, having a blue head with an orange body. It even emits a foul-smelling odor to deter any potential predators. These traits make it unlike any other species of stick insect, so much so that it's been given its own genus, and science is yet to determine if it has any linkage to any other stick or leaf insects. Now, normally, stick insects are elongated with longer legs and the same color as their surroundings to enable them to be camouflaged. This one, however, sticks out against the undergrowth. It's stout with short legs, and it's thought that these are adaptations it's developed for survival in the type of rainforest that it exists in. The only common feature that it has with other species is parts of its mouth, which raises even more questions on how the enigma came to be and how it could possibly be related to insects on the other side of the world. Number 3. The Callow Man in 2010, following a four-year excavation, scientists made an astonishing find, a foot bone from the earliest Homo sapien known to have lived in the Philippines. It would be discovered in the Calo Caves about 210 miles north of Manila and predated previous finds by more than 20,000 years, having dated back to 67,000 years ago, according to scientists. That's when he shared some of the same features of those who are native to the Philippines today, with short curly hair and dark skin. This bone is also the earliest human fossil to have been found in the entire Asia-Pacific region, and is proof that, even then, humans had the ability to cross the ocean. He's also been dubbed the Callow Man, 
Further investigations are now taking place in the caves with the hope that even more bones can be found to help build a picture of how these early visitors to the islands lived and to further cement the theories of when people first arrived there. Number 2. Metal Eating Plant with such a dense jungle, it's no surprise that a new species is often found in the Philippines. Some are really bizarre, like the metal-eating plant, which feeds on the most unusual substance of metal. To be more precise, it consumes nickel. Tests on leaves have shown concentrations as high as 18,000 parts per million, which is as much as a thousand times as much as is found in other species. In any other plant, this would be more than enough to be poisonous, but this one seems to thrive. The process, known as nickel hyperaccumulation, is so rare that less than 1% of the species native to nickel-rich soils exhibit the trait. In fact, there are only 450 known species in the world who do this. This discovery is one that could prove to be quite useful. Hyperaccumulator plants have previously been used to rid soil of nickel and, in some cases, as a way to collect the metal in a way that it can be harvested and used in industrial processes. And number one, a mega mouth shark. The waters around the Philippines are home to a wide variety of mysterious creatures, but by far the weirdest has to be the mega mouth shark. These aquatic beasts are rarely ever seen, with only 66 documented sightings since first being discovered in 1976. In February of 2018, a 15-foot specimen would be found stranded on the beach in Negros Oriental, and it was seen as a bad omen by the local villagers. Dead by the time that they had got to it, and in a region that has often seen a number of dead animals wash up on the shore just before a tsunami hits. Luckily, it didn't on this occasion. However, the Megamouth shark's arrival was mysterious. They're also thought to live up for a hundred years and migrate in the waters around the Asia Pacific. Their rows of teeth aren't as dangerously sharp as seen in other species which led the locals nicknaming this one Toothless. Thanks for watching. Which of these did you find most surprising? And have you ever been to the Philippines? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on World 5.